pecan crusted chicken tenders with a blackberry honey mustard. And that's right, I said pecan, because here in Louisiana, that's how we say a pecan, not a pecan. A pecan is what you use to fix a broken bed. Let's jump in and get cooking. So we're using some simple ingredients, and this is a fantastic recipe that you can do at home. Get the kids involved as well, if you got some of them. Get them all in here, because this is just a fun, simple dish. And what I like about this is it's not fried or anything like that. We're gonna bake these, so you get this wonderful crust on the outside of the chicken, but it's kind of nice and light. So let's jump in and get going. So first thing we're gonna do is we got some pecans here. We're gonna go right into the food processor and we're just gonna kind of grind them up. You know, oftentimes when you buy pecans, they either come in kind of halves or in pieces and any one will work because we're gonna throw them right in the food processor and just kind of chop them up. Not looking to cut them up, not looking to puree them into a paste, but just get them kind of minced up with a nice small and crumbly. It's exactly what we got here. We're gonna go right back into our bowl. And now we're gonna to start to make this crust. So this goes in. Now we're gonna season this. So we have here, you know, for some spice, some good old Louisiana Creole seasoning. I got some granulated garlic, a little bit of kosher salt, and this is some paprika all great flavors. And then also to help with that crust, to kind of have it just crumbly and crunchy on the outside, we're gonna put some panko breadcrumbs in here as well. And this is just gonna, you know, again, give it a wonderful texture to it. We're just gonna mix all this together, real simply. And this is gonna be the base for our crust for our chicken. So now we're ready to start crusting the chicken. Working in batches, we're gonna go into a little bit of flour this is just three eggs that have been cracked. And then we're gonna go right into that crust. Kind of making sure it all sticks good and then shaking off the excess. Flour, dipped into that egg batter, just three eggs cracked into here, and then into our pecan crust. Keep doing this until you have, I'm doing six chicken tenders, but as many as you need. Now we're not looking to get too heavy of a coating on the chicken. That's why we shake off any excess. Just enough to have a nice light coating and when that bakes up in the oven, it's gonna become real crunchy. While that's baking off, let's go ahead and make that blackberry honey mustard. Honey mustard and Chicken tenders is classic, but this is a nice little twist that's gonna add some wonderful sweetness. Of course, we're gonna start off with our honey mustard with I have some Dijon mustard here. If you're in Louisiana, Creole mustard would be fantastic or a whole grain mustard, but Creole mustard is gonna work out fantastically. So there's our Creole mustard. Of course, honey mustard. I have some local honey right here to us in Gonzales, Louisiana. We're gonna get some of that in. A couple tablespoons. So for the blackberries, we're just using a little bit of blackberry preserves, and this is gonna give it just a wonderful color and sweetness that's gonna help balance out some of that tartness. Get that all mixed in. And then of course, we wanna get some lemon juice in there as well. Lemon juice is gonna add some great uh, acidity. Acidity is gonna be great for that honey mustard. So we'll get that in there and just mix all that together, and look how easy this is. Just a couple of simple ingredients that Dijon mustard, honey of course, blackberry preserves and lemon juice. Of course we wanna have it good and seasoned, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper in there. If you like it a little bit spicier, a little cayenne or a couple dashes of hot sauce would be perfect to add to this at this time. Now let's go check out our chicken and see how that's looking. Now here's our chicken after it's come out of the oven. Look how wonderful and crunchy they've kind of baked up. Again, 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes to the nice and crunchy on the outside. They're gonna be perfect. Now we're ready to plate this bad boy up. I'm gonna serve a couple of these chicken tenders, just like so, three for me. And then we have this wonderful honey mustard 
that I'm just going to kind of liberally drizzle all around the plate so I can just kind of dip in it. But I mean, of course, you can put it in a little side ramekin as well for dipping, and that's going to be perfect. And then I happen to have some fresh herbs that we got right out of the garden. That's a little bit of dill, so I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of that on top because, you know, I'm a chef from a fancy restaurant, so we got to make it look nice. And there you have it, guys. This is a pecan and panko crusted chicken tenders with a blackberry honey mustard. If you made it this far, give this video a like or a share. That would help us out so much. Other than that, thank you, and we'll have another recipe next week. See you then. Bye for now.